Skipping around the paper session, we come to cloth simulation. Here's a semi-implicit technique that generates stable but responsive motion. Better collision algorithms allow us to add a few new wrinkles in this cloth simulation. To simulate cloth, we have to integrate a stiff set of ordinary differential equations. An explicit method fails to stably integrate a stiff ODE with a large time step and therefore implicit method are often used to avoid numerical instability. This numerical instability is related to the in-plane motion of cloth particles because cloth strongly resists in-plane stretching. Cloth also has physical instability called post-buckling instability which cannot be avoided by simply employing an implicit method. This structural instability is related to the out-of-plane motion of cloth particles because cloth buckles in the out-of-plane direction. Most common techniques to handle the unstable post-buckling response were adding fictitious damping along the out-of-plane direction or using small time steps to avoid the divergence. The new method does not use fictitious damping nor reduces the time step size. By using the predicted static post-buckling response, the instabilities associated with the buckling behavior are effectively handled. Because this method does not involve unstable post-buckling response, fictitious damping or small time steps do not have to be used to stabilize the buckling process. The cloth simulated with the previous method on the left exhibits excessive damping that prevents realistic wrinkle generation. In contrast, on the right, you could see the subtle and responsive wrinkle motion generated by the new method.